So Brian, here in Kissimmee, you just pulled off another back-to-back -to -back top. What were you playing and how's your experience? Uh, and I played Kashtira, got sixth place. And what'd you do the weekend before? I got second place at Hollywood. All right. Um, do you have any shout outs you want to give before the profile? Yeah, so shout out, um, obviously my locals in Fort Myers. Uh, shout out all of Jacksonville, of course. Super supportive and uh, always at events with me. So love these guys. Shout out YGO Process. Uh, shout out Chew Crew. And uh, shout out everyone at home in the Discord. And Tim, yeah. awesome. Go ahead all and right. get into your list and see what you played. All right, so standard cash lineup. Uh, three Fenrir, two Unicorn, uh, one Scareclaw. I played two Rice Heart. Uh, I played three of this at Nats and I kept bricking. So I decided to make it less consistent and I I, I kept not bricking. So uh, I know it doesn't make actual sense, but um, three is not as good because um, a lot of decks have a way to book your normal. So normaling this used to be better. Uh, now it's a lot worse. So uh, that's why I played two of it. Uh, standard. Uh, the best Yu-Gi-Oh card in my deck, uh, Dimension Shifter. Um, yeah, yeah. Th this this card is this card really should be hit. It's it is disgustingly broken. Um, insane against the new decks people are playing. Uh, three Ash uh, branded exists and um, it's it's good it's good enough. It's really bad in a purely in cash, but um, against every other deck, it's 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 pretty good. Um, you play three planet terraform. You have to stand. You have to play all these uh, three Theosis. Rebirth, uh, the tier limit screen of this deck. This card is ridiculous. Uh, it's like the only way you can beat the Rescue Ace deck because uh, they have not. They, they don't play an MST in their deck, so you can actually just survive by birthing them every turn, and they, they have no way to interact with the card. So um, yeah, it's really really insane. Uh, three Prosperity, another card that should be hit. Um, I played uh, so I didn't want to play like three of these. I just want to play two of because I, I wanted to see more of them, not once per turn cards. So I played. Uh, Two Talents, uh, two Eclipse, and two Lance. Uh, I just wanted to draw these and not in, like, in multiples. So, um, Lance was really good. Uh, Talents was okay. I, I didn't really like it into the other decks, but it's so insane into the mirror that you kind of need to play it. Because uh, if you don't have it in the mirror and your opponent does, it's really hard to win. So, uh, I would still play it. Uh, three Book of Moon. Uh, this is just the best card against Curly, against Cash. Uh, even against random decks, it just like prevents a negate or you book their normal. So uh, this card is just great in every deck. Uh, three Imperm, because uh, this card Exodia is Curly. They just have no way to beat like Lily getting hit with this in draw phase. So uh, super, super good. And then the one Big Bang. So. All right, on to the uh, extra deck. Got my zone blockers. I played double Zeus, double Big Eye. I was originally playing only one, but um, in the mirror, this card just comes up a lot. So uh, if they ever rip it with Unicorn, you want the option. And sometimes it comes up where you can Big Eye, take a seven, make another Big Eye, take their Rise Heart. So uh, it comes up enough to warrant playing it, for sure. Um, Triple Shanger Era. Uh, it's because your turn one play burns through two of these, so if you get nib, you kind of want another one just in case. Uh, there's like not a better slot for it, to be honest, so I I'd keep playing three. Uh, one Baron, uh, one Dad, one Draco Sack, um, the one Arise Heart. Um, yeah, none of, this, none of this would really change. Uh, Draco Sack is really good for outing skill drain. I really miss the Infinite Track that uh, when it destroys by battle it attaches. That would have been really good today against like these Rescue Ace decks and uh, Unchained because you can actually like get a second Zeus send and Zeus against those decks is crazy. So uh, I would consider cutting this for the, the Infinite Track for sure. Um, one Donner, yeah, play that. Uh, and then my Arise Heart targets were Goliath and then the two Skull Warriors because like these cards just let you get your Rise Heart outed, and instead of when they have an empty board and they out it, and the card, like Intis Garura does nothing. So these cards at least let you hit them on the crackback, um, and they're great for both matchups. So, yeah, that's my, um, my extra on my side. Uh, Cosmic. Honestly, this could have been Lightning Storm for, like, the, uh, the Rescue Ace deck, but... There's too many Labyrinth players playing Lord of Heavenly Prison, and I'm not going to put them on drawing that card to just win the game. I need to, like, respond to their 
goes in their 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 skill drain. So I just needed a card that's a quick play, and it, it's like a good. I cited it in the mirror because you can hit like birth planet. Uh, you can hit their set books and their set lances. So I, I think the card's just really it's generically better, and it hits like the runic deck obviously. So uh, I'd still play cosmic over lightning storm. Uh, three droll. Um, yeah, this card's just, it's not my main deck because I don't think it's good enough against the format, but like, it is Exodia against the decks it's good against. Like, Mana Dome cannot beat this card. Um, I don't side anything as purely your cash because, I mean, you're just 50 50 in those matchups if you think this card's going to do anything, and it's really not. It's only good against like Mana Dome and some other random decks. So, um, like Dragon Link, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I'd still keep it in the side. Wouldn't man it. Uh, Moonlit. Uh, I didn't play any pearly today, but like in theory, uh, oh, Hollywood, I played pearly. I played four pearly, and this card is just crazy against pearly. Like, you know, especially because a lot of them fear droll, so they'll still do it in their draw phase because uh, their hand can be droll, and then they just discard two cards to get um, negated, and they go so minus. Uh, and then I also just generically sided in against a lot of decks because you know it's moonlight. It hits. It hits most decks. So. Uh, the best card, 3D Barrier, um, yeah, this card is just super unfair, uh, obviously, you just, like, D-Barrier, um, purely, and they can't do anything, they've, they're only out as cross out, and if you have an established board, there's, there's no way that's enough, so, uh, in the mirror it sucks, but I didn't want to play Eradicator, because, like, Eradicator's really only good into the mirror and trap decks, and there's a lot of other decks people are playing right now, especially because it's new format. So I just wanted a card that's consistent. Like, people are playing the Synchro deck, and there's just a lot of matchups where this is, like, really, really good. So I would just rather play this over Eradicator. Uh, and then Ghost Bell. Uh, Branded, Labyrinth. Uh, I think you have to respect Labyrinth, because you can get Eradicated pretty easily in this deck and just lose on the spot. So you just need a card like this that, um, you know, allows you to actually be able to play. Uh, and this is also good against the Runic for higher deck, so uh, I wouldn't cut this card. I think his application is too, too high, so, yep, that's it. Insane. Again, Brian, you know you've been playing cash for a while now. You're showing a lot of promise with these events. Is there any changes you're looking to make to the list? Uh, yeah, I would definitely cut the Drago sack for the Infinite Track that attaches after it destroys. Uh, that's probably it, though. Okay, probably. awesome. Got any final remarks? That's it. Thank All you for right. the profile. Thank you.